Hello again, and this is part 10 of Let's Play the Xenosaga series. In part 9, we finally got off the cathedral ship and took care of Cherenkov. We were chased by the Gnosis, Kosnos kicks an ass, and we are now aboard the Durandal, and I believe we are headed to the Kukai Foundation, so that is where we are now. Well, that should be self-explanatory what just happened, right? No explanation needed from me. Damn it! The next day... What is this place? The environmental controls here seem extremely strict. They're so big. Six to each side. With one directly across. Thirteen in all. Looks like each block has a name inscribed on it. You've got great eyesight. Hmm, let's see. Peter, Andrew, Boanerges, Thomas, John, um. Philip, Matthew, Bartholomew, James. Thaddeus, Simon, Judas. And the last one? It appears to say Marian Kind. Marian Kind? I think I've heard that somewhere. It means the child of Mary. This is where we store all the really dangerous items. Stuff like this. Actually, they're all emulators, and they've all been sealed, including the one we just retrieved. Why are these Zohars here? Well, our corporation does dabble a little in everything. Besides, these days, you can't get by without having something to deal with the Gnosis. And we definitely can't wait around for the Federation to get off its lazy butt. What's in the room across from here? Nothing pleasant, I'll tell you that much. You're not going to show us? Trust me, it ain't something you'd want to see. Even if we were to consider the diversity of your businesses, you're still a foundation, right? I mean, the weaponry on this ship far outclass those on any warship. Who are you people, anyway? We were more or less a government organization previously. Well, I guess if you want to see it that badly. 
careful what you wish for. What is this? <gasps> I warned you, you weren't gonna like it, didn't I? All of these specimens appear to be humans whose bodies turned into gnosis. Transform bodies. I've only heard of them before. Most people just turn white and shatter to pieces. But there are a few exceptions, and they end up like this. We've named this one Betty for now. It's hard to look straight at them. But I don't want to refer to them by some code name or number. It's just not right to treat the dead like mere objects. Is that a lady? She was a little girl. The last time we saw her. People turning into Gnosis? Have you learned anything about them? Not much. Plenty of Gnosis remains have been recovered to date. But nobody's learned a thing from them. You know what they're composed of? No. Sodium chloride. Plain old salt. Even their translucent bodies are mostly made up of water and sodium hydroxide. How can ordinary compounds like that form creatures like them? No one really knows why those who survive Gnosis encounters always turn into one of them. Some people think they're a new type of virus. Others say... They're beings from another dimension who take on temporary forms in this one. Always? No exceptions? Nope. Not as far as I know. So they could be from another dimension? Wouldn't that mean that their true forms might exist somewhere else? Who knows? All that's certain is that they're hostile to humans. Not that such a sentiment is unique to them. Chief, is something wrong? You don't look so good. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. No, don't worry. It's nothing. It's her favorite phrase. So... So when did this all begin? Unofficially. Phenomena like this have been occurring periodically over the past few centuries. But, after a certain incident, the Gnosis leapt into the forefront of history. A certain incident? The Milshin Conflict. Hmm? Joachim Mizrahi. It was he who opened Pandora's box and unleashed the Gnosis upon the galaxy. And we're all paying for his ambition. Joachim Mizrahi. Brilliant scientist who founded the UTIC organization. Brilliant? He was a lunatic. Unable to bear his curiosity, he invited the Gnosis into our world. Lunatic? The foundation was established after the war by the newly formed Second Milshin government to clean up and investigate the facts behind the incident. Technically, that's our real job. Problem is, the funding's tight in peacetime. On top of that, Running the Foundation takes a staggering amount of money, and the management of these Zohars ain't cheap either. So, we ended up privatizing part of our operations and became a Foundation. We never imagined that some of our side businesses would hit it so big, though. Daddy... Daddy wasn't like that. Well, he kind of was. I wonder if what I said bothered her. Perhaps the truth that exists here may have gone a bit too much for her. I'm a little worried about Mono. I wonder where she went. Joachim Nizrahi. He is a very mysterious man. I don't think I can go back in here. Oh, yes I can. Never mind. Doesn't look like there's anything to do in here.
Shelley called for me, so I'm heading over to Durandal's bridge. I wonder where Lono went. Oh well, let's see if we can't find her. After we get an email. Okay, so we got a new map. We can now use the EVS to go back to the cathedral ship if we so choose. That's all that this is telling us. You are a friend of Little Master, correct? That girl that was with you just left on the train. Beyond that door is a storage warehouse for important secrets. You cannot pass through this area without permission from either Master Guinan or Little Master. Alright, nothing over there. Nothing over here. Please enter your destination. Um, I think she's at the park. Huh? A little girl? Come to think of it, I saw one go up to the observation room. Alright, so she is here. Alright, so let's head into the park. Rahi the lunatic? Was Daddy really like that? Since Daddy built us, does that mean Realians are bad people too? Momo, we were looking all over for you. Hello, Xion. What's wrong? You look kind of down. Xion, I... I was created by Joachim Mizrahi. He designed the 100 series Realians back when the Federation funded him. I know. Xi'an, I... Daddy wasn't a lunatic. I don't even know what I am. Identity Diffusion. The Eternal Dilemma. Do you know about the environmental bugs on board this ship? They're actually nanomachines, you know. Used to keep enclosed spaces like this clean. I'd say that of all the things Professor Mizrahi or anyone else created, they rank up there pretty high. These bugs may be man-made, but they function as if they've existed all along. Almost as if they were meant to be. I think realians are the same. The only difference between us is the length of our histories. But regardless of our origins, each one of us has an important role to fulfill in this world. Besides, I really doubt Dr. Mizrahi was a dangerous person like everyone makes him out to be. And it's not just because of the environmental bugs. The work he did on realians was incredibly insightful. The fundamental gnosis research Professor Misrahi left behind played a critical role in the development of modern anti-gnosis technology. Thanks for the backup, Cosmos. I'm really glad to see you react like that. Empathizing with the feelings of others is a major factor in human relationships. 
Although I do not believe that the current situation called for me to act in an empathetic manner, I am pleased to be of service to you. <laughs> I think Cosmos is really funny. Too bad she doesn't take instruction very well. I never got to meet Daddy. But he used to talk to me all the time before I was born. It's all a little hazy, but I remember him telling me that I could become a real person if I did good deeds. Really? That's a wonderful memory to have. Uh-huh. Chief! Great news! After this ship arrives at the Kukai Foundation, they're gonna take us to Second Milsha! <laughs> Second Milsha? Really? Apparently, they have some work to take care of out there. The captain's still whining about repairing the Elsa, but... Some work? I wonder... Huh? Well, I'm sure they've got their own reasons. But don't you think it's a little strange that everyone's heading for Milsha? Not really. It's probably just a coincidence. I'm just glad we saved some money. Not to mention that this ship's a million times better equipped than the Elsa. And we'll have nothing to worry about if we run into the Gnosis again. Hey, speaking of which, did you check out your room? They all have jacuzzis and mini bars and... Hey, what's wrong, Chief? <sighs> nothing, nothing. I'm just jealous of how easily swayed you are. What does it mean that this scenery is beautiful? My eyes can only recognize it as a collection of numerical values and data. That's exactly how I look at things. Kosnos is a nice person. Thank you for cheering me up. I'm okay now. I concur with your opinion. Without Dr. Nizrahi's research, our technology would not have developed as far as it has. Come to think of it, Chief, aren't you tired too? They freed up one of the rooms in the residential area for us, so you can get some rest there. I was told it's the room with the red carpet. Shelly told me that you'd know as soon as you go in. Alright, so I guess we need to go to the room. Now, I think there is a segment address door somewhere here. At least I thought there was. No, well, perhaps not. Well, let's head to the residential area. Oh, are you done with work for the day? Lucky you, I'm on my way to my shift now. I have to work hard to make up for what I for what I lost at the casino yesterday. Phew, I'm finally done. Now guess I'll take a shower and have a drink. Police men are human too. We enjoy a drink or two after work. Shoot, I was so engrossed in gambling my shift left port. I can't get back to the foundation by myself. Hey, there's an email for Xion. Another shameless plug for another Namco game, Ace Combat 4. High quality graphics? I doubt that. Ah, uh, nothing like a little shameless plug. For your own products.
Oh, is this your companion, little master? Director Guinden told me already. A room down the corridor has been prepared for them. Okay, well, I don't want to go there yet. Booster pack. Another booster pack. Shelly and Neri are great, you know? I like how dignified Shelly is, but I can't just dismiss how much I like Neri's enthusiasm either. Okay, I believe this is the room where you can play cards. Alright, let's do a save state just in case the game crashes. Fortunately, it did not. <laughs> Oops, are we starting again? Luck is everything when it comes to these things. Good luck to the both of us. <laughs> You want to hear the start of my life as a gambler? Sure. Ah, uh, good of you to ask. Well, actually, thinking back, I think it was about 14 years ago. I was still a kid back then. I was living in Nilsha at the time when I used to go play at Nilsha Park a lot. Then one day, I was playing at the Pink Dome in Nilsha Park when I lost a precious card. And to this day, I'm in casinos trying to get that card back. Oh, back then I was little, so I could get inside the dome. That's strange. I'm doing everything the way the little master taught me, but I just can't win at all. Am I doing something wrong? Okay, the casino passport. This will let us play cards. Hmm, what? You got a problem with a police woman being here? I'm human too. You have to gamble a little in your life. Alright, now how do I actually play cards? Perhaps I can't do it just yet. Now that I think about it, I think you play cards through the save point with the passport. Yes, you do. Oh, but this isn't the card game that I want. Xeno card. Believe it or not, I've actually never played Xeno card with all my playthroughs of the game. Ah, uh, this is what I want. Casino Passport. Alright. So, I am actually going to cheat. So, let's purchase some coins. So, I'm going to use save states here. just to save some time. What am I doing? Alright, let's try this again. Alright, double or nothing. So, for double or nothing, Save it again. So now you have to guess will the next card will be higher or lower. If you guess correctly, then you'll double your winnings. Now it's a jack, so it's likely going to be lower. Uh, 
And I lost it. But not really. <laughs> oh my god. Even cheating, I can't even cheat properly. <laughs> For the love of god. Wait a minute, is this thing rigged? It is rigged. No matter what I click, I'm gonna lose. Wow. Alright, well, we'll stop there. Let's do this again. Alright, so we've already got two pair. Dog will learn nothing? Yes. Oh my god. The game is actually rigged. I got nothing there. Double or nothing? Sure. That's hilarious to me. I'm guessing if I click low, it's going to be higher than a 6. Yeah. And again, I'm really just cheating to save some time. I can't even exactly remember what you can what you can exchange uh, these coins for, but I think there's at least one or two interesting items that you can get. Nothing that round. Of course. Alright, pair of fours. Once we hit 10,000 coins, we'll stop and see what uh, what we can exchange them for. Okay, one more winning round and... should hit 10,000. 
Alright, let's look at the prize exchange. Brave Soul, I want to say that's a weapon? Perhaps for Junior? Though I'm not positive. Well, there's actually not a whole lot you can purchase here that you can actually use in the game. You got some, you can buy some uh, design sketches, character sketches that you can view here. And you can buy some card packs for the other card game, which I'm not really interested in. So really, all I really care to get is the Brave Soul and I guess the Golden Dice. So to get those, we need 25,000 coins. So let's keep going. This shouldn't take too much longer. Alright, we got three of a kind. Well, that's not going to help me out, so I guess... Let's do this again. A pair of nines. Jack, a coin, and a king. And nothing. Again, nothing. Okay, pair of jacks. Sixes. All right, we're getting there. Pair of eights. We got 15,000, 10 more to go, 10 more thousand to go. Nothing here. Ooh, three of a kind. Of course. Pair of eights. We got two pair. Obviously. Really? Now we got a four, a five, and a six.
Okay, one more winning round and that's it. Okay. So let's exchange those. There are slot machines as well, but I'm not going to bother with it. Alright, now let's head to... let's find our room. The Durandal is a battleship, but many civilians also work here. It's not that dangerous since Shelly and Larry are in command. They don't do too many reckless things. Oh, but when little, when little Master is with us, we all grace ourselves. Medkit DX. Considering the duties, it can't be helped, but a lot of the work here is, is tough for a normal person. The principal crew numbers all have special abilities. I think it's called psychokinesis or telequathy or something. Man, I want powers like that too. Okay, here's a shop. All I have is 420 gold. That's not really very good. However, let's see if I have some stuff I can sell. Scrap iron. Sell it, yes. And unicorn horns, I don't need those. Anything else? Nope. Well, let's buy these weapons. That must be for Chaos. That has to be for Lolo. And the Rook 505. I'm assuming that's a gun that's likely for Junior. And I don't have enough to purchase all of these, but we'll get what we can. I have 32.30 left. That's a nice little boost in vitality for Xi'an. I'll take that. So if I recall correctly, this area right here is the site of an optional boss battle later in the game. Nedkit DX, I think the uh, boss is right here, and I believe you either need to have Junior in the party or he has to be the leader. 
in order to make an appear. We may or may not do that. I'm not sure yet. Ether pack S and two ether upgrade A's. Um, would you like to register for the Shelly and Larry fan club? If you register now, you'll get a real photograph of them. I think I will pass. To either upgrade A's, neg to S, and if it wasn't the other room that has the optional boss fight in it, it's here in this room. It's one of the two. Let's see anything else here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, now I think it's okay to get to our room. Which I'm thinking is down this hallway. I'm really tired now. I think I'll call it a day. Uh, before I do that, it's a large ship. I think we'll have some more fun. Uh, we're not going to have more fun. Hey, well, well, what do we have here? A customer. I'll watch over you even when I'm sleeping. That actually sounds kind of creepy. Get some rest? Certainly. That is the Kukai Foundation. So that's the Kukai Foundation. That's what I just said. They sure know how to spend their money. I can't wait to see the Durandal turn into a skyscraper. It's so beautiful. What? We're going to dock just like this? This ship's supposedly one of the most famous landmarks in the Foundation. I saw it in a travel guide on the Elsa. Oh, really? I'd never know. I don't check out vacation guides very often. Oh, look! We're docking! New Year's Eve is the best time to visit. The evening metropolis is quite a sight to behold with all her lights. Gainan Kukai, the managing director of the Kukai Foundation. Huh? Huh? Junior? What was that? Uh, nothing. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Kukai Foundation.
I heard about your situation from Captain Matthews in Chaos. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for all your help. Enjoy your stay. What's wrong with me? Acting so rudely towards someone I just met. Maybe you're a jerk. And you must be Momo. I've received word from Yuri Mizrahi of the contact subcommittee. We'll make sure you get to Milsha safely. From Mommy? Right. She told me to take good care of you. Can I talk to her? Well, she seemed pretty busy. Oh, I see. Why doesn't Mommy ever want to see me? I'll let you know as soon as I hear from her again. All right. Thank you very much. It can't be. That android Cosmos, she's got an incredible amount of potential, you know. There's no way she's just a prototype. I'm also concerned about how she resonated with the emulators. The Hilbert effect. I heard they lost the archetype, but it looks like there's more to this than it seems. And don't forget about her engineer. What was her name? Xion? I think she might be onto us. And our powers. No way. She's just an ordinary human. She might not be as ordinary as you think. I doubt it. She seems normal enough to me. I guess it's possible, though. After all, she's involved in the highest classified part of that project. The same one Helmer's involved in. The Zohar Project. Listen. Why don't we... lay off the Mizrahi talk for a while? Hmm. <laughs> Concerned about that Momo girl? Don't look at me like that! You think she likes being called the child of a madman? After all, we were both there when Mizrahi finally met his end. We saw what happened. You know that girl's a realian. Her memory might be imprinted with something. So you're saying the image she holds of Mizrahi is a false one? I don't know. That's why I want you to lay off when you're around her. At least, for now, anyway. If you're that concerned about her, why don't you invite her down to the beach? I'm sure it'll help take her mind off of things. Man, I told you, it's not like that. Hey. What's this? Man, it's a stainless steel finished Makalov. With the original box and everything! I won it at a Lion's Heart auction. It was part of their antique weapons collection. This isn't like you. You're up to something. Not at all. I just thought I'd reward you for all the hard work you've done for us recently. Have I gone too far? <laughs> Don't go shooting that thing all over the place. Remember, you're older than I am. Try to act like it once in a while, all right? Ah Sweet! <sighs> it's open. Chief. We better get going soon. Yeah. What's wrong? Maybe it's just me, but you've been acting gloomy ever since we boarded this ship. Hmm? No. Really, it's nothing. What? You really think I'm acting like that? Yep. No doubt about it. Hmm. 
See? Just like that. <laughs> oh, I just have a lot on my mind. I'm sure that's all it is. Are you sure? If something's bothering you, I'd be more than happy to listen. Hey, Xion! Let's go out and play! Hmm? I'll wait for you over at the shuttle launch, so hurry, okay? See you there! Mm. Well then, I'll be heading to the launch pad, so Chief, make sure to come too. Alright, let's head back into the casino room and save. And then we'll head over to the shuttle. Oh, one thing I forgot to check. Um, well, a couple of things. In that last boss fight, I stole something called the Commander's Crest. Uh, what does that do? Each turn, AP plus one. Oh, okay, so that is pretty... That is pretty useful. Oh, and, uh... Okay, so the Grey Soul and the Golden Dice, those aren't weapons, those are accessories. So, where are we going? A dock? Shion, I will return to the service module on the ELSA from that regular data update. I appreciate your invitation, but I need to report our current situa situation to the committee. It's not a chance you get often. Go on and enjoy yourselves. There we go. Shion, why do you look so down? Let's hurry and go to the beach. I'll show you around. This shuttle is exclusively for direct flights to the Kukai Foundation. Would you like to go to the Foundation? I certainly would. Understood. We wish you a pleasant stay. Shion, would you laugh at me if I told you that I think she has a heart? Cosmos? Showing emotional behavior? I've run across some interesting phenomena. It's still pretty weak, of course. Almost like a tiny little pulse. Really? We should definitely keep an eye on that. Cosmos elemental data structure duplicates that of the human brain. So something like that's certainly not out of the question.
She was empathizing with Momo back there. I wonder what her subconscious waves were like. Flatline. Oh well. Nothing here at all. Well, what's the matter, Chief? You didn't come down to the beach just to stare at a screen all day, did you? What the heck kind of swimsuit is that? Shian. Why don't you come and play with us? Sorry. In a bit. Are you working on Cosmos? It must be really tough. Ah, Cosmos. She's got a lot of black box areas that even we can't analyze. Black box? Yeah. We're painstakingly analyzing her bit by bit so that we can recreate her original form again. The only person who knew everything about Cosmos was Kevin. <sighs> Say, Alan, do you think Guinan and Junior are father and son? They look a little too far apart in age to be brothers. I've heard rumors here and there. Some say Guinan cloned himself, while others say Junior's his illegitimate son, or... I don't think he's a clone. Their genome arrays are a little too different for that. Wow! You can actually see that, Momo? I'm an observational realian. They're more than just siblings, or father and son. But at the same time, they're not identical either. Is that sort of thing possible? Their DNA only has to differ by 0.1% to make them different people, right? Hey, who's an illegitimate son? Uh, man, this beach is really great. It doesn't feel artificial at all. It's our latest product. You can even change the weather. You can't have blue skies all the time, right? Somebody's triggered. I'm sorry. I just really hate thunder. She. Representative Helmer. Busy as always, I see. Well, hello, Negredo. How are things going? Hmm. I don't really care for that name. My apologies. I'm still not accustomed to calling you Guinan. So, how can I help you? We're currently headed your way, and we're carrying an unusual package. So I thought it best to inform you. Oh? We secured it from an unexpected source. The Federation cruiser Woglinde. It's an emulator. The twelfth one. That matches the Utic records. Right. There's no question that it's responsible for the planetary disappearance. Assuming they haven't constructed any more, that's all of them. Aside from the original, of course. That's clearly impossible. Now that the only man who can create them is no longer alive. True enough. And one more thing. We have the Contact Subcommittee's 100 series prototype. How did that wind up in your hands? One of our passenger freighters rescued her 76 hours ago. Is the ability to attract that sort of coincidence another one of your special powers? Not a coincidence, but a probability, as a certain acquaintance might say. Anyway, I'm concerned with what the UTIC organization is up to. You may want to step up your precautions. I'll see what I can sniff out from the UMN Administration Bureau. We can locate any large-scale gate jumps from there. Excellent idea. Assuming they have no emulators in their possession. The odds are that they'll go after the original sealed on old Milsha. 
Not to mention... Udu. I don't know what their ultimate goal is. But we can't allow that thing to reawaken again, no matter what. Understood. We'll prepare for your arrival. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Well, I'm going back to the Elsa to check on Koslos. Are you sure? Are you sure you'll be all right, Chief? Yeah, sorry for losing it earlier. I don't have very good memories of Thunder, Chief. I'm a little tired, so maybe I'll rest at a hotel in City Sector 27. I'll go to the Elsa after I get some rest. Please take care of Koslos until then. All right, um, Chief. Please don't push yourself too hard. Yes, I know. See, I don't think there is anything of note here. Oh, Ziggy. Is there something wrong? No, I just came to see how you were doing. Sure, that's what you say, but the real reason why you came here is because you wanted to play, right? Are you all right? You don't look well. Oh, it's nothing really. I'm completely fine. Okay, if you say so. But it's better not to push yourself too much. Yes, I know. City Sector 26 and 27. All right, let's go here. What? A hotel? There's one right over there. The building with the sign that says Our Treasure is the hotel. Hey, I heard that the bartender is actually a member of Director Guinan's fan club. I wonder if his tastes run along those lines. The bar's been done in poor taste. Everything is so tacky. Oh, the bartender will get angry if you mess with that crank. The bartender's really strong. He probably beat you down in one punch. Turn the crank? Uh, yeah, I'll turn it because we're gonna have to eventually. Might as well do it now. going to bother talking to all these people. Don't think there's much for me to do here at the moment. Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Have you been working out regularly? You won't make it in this town looking like that. Listen, men have to be strong, you know what I mean? Or else you can't protect what's important. I don't know if this guy realizes what he's not talking to a man right now. <laughs> the bartender's long-winded stories are annoying. He boasts about himself every chance he gets. Alright, let's leave. Oh, now you've done it. I warned you not to touch it. Well, he actually didn't. Oh, but it's strange. I feel really happy. I feel like we could become really good friends. Okay, our treasure. Here's the hotel.
Hey, don't you touch that safe. The contents inside are more important to my wife and me than life itself. It's not something for you guys to touch as you please. I believe there's a hidden combination you need to open that safe. What? A customer? There's nothing worthwhile being sold here. You still want to buy something? Well, not really, because I don't have any money. But I'll get one biosphere. That'll leave me with exactly 10 gold. Or 10G. See, didn't I tell you? Nothing worthwhile to buy, right? Welcome. Oh, you must be Director Guinan's guests. I have already received payment from Director Guinan, so please make yourselves at home. Ah, I feel much better. Oh, Alan's probably waiting. I'd better hurry back to the Elsa and start the maintenance on Kosmos. Let's head back to the Elsa. Eggs, Cart Shop, and Foundation Robot Academy. Oh, let's go in here for a minute. Professor's Giant Robot Training Hall, Chapter 1, Genius Scientist Appears, Episode, His Name Is... This place permeates some kind of fondness for the past. What's going on? This is no place for the likes of you. No, sir. Excuse me, what is this place? Ahem, very good of you to ask. This is the amazing, stupendous, absolutely fantabulous Foundation Robot Academy. But this is no time for me to be talking to you. No, sir. It sort of seems like an eggs factory, but it's a little different. Eggs, you say? Don't you dare compare this to those children's toys. No, sir. Children's toys? Then what in the world do you make here? Hmm? All you keep doing is asking questions. You're all some kind of spies, aren't you? Who do you work for? Spies? We're nothing of the sort. I have a little interest in machines is all, so I thought I'd ask. Hmm. Interested in machines, you say? Alright then, I'll tell you. I'm building an invincible giant robot. Giant robot? No, you got it wrong. Invincible giant robot. Invincible giant robot? You don't believe me? Then I'll tell you an extra special secret. Want to hear it? That's okay. Listen. The hoax and dreams mankind lost have been scattered across the universe. Likewise, there are giant robot parts that we have forgotten in the past floating around aimlessly in the universe. Do you understand? I don't understand. Figure it out. So I am gathering together those dream fragments in an, in an attempt to bring the giant robot back into this world. Dream fragments scattered across the universe. What a romantic notion. Right? For being, for being modern young people, you show some promise. Alright, that settles it. I've decided to entrust you with a part of my dream. And trust us? With what? I want you to find the robot parts that I've been in search of for years. My research has revealed that there are six kinds of robot parts in the world. Of course, you won't be doing it for free. If you find them for me, I'll prepare a special reward for you. He's pretty cushy. Fine! If we find those robot parts, we'll bring them to you. It's a promise. 
Oops, I almost forgot to say this. Some robot parts are useless by themselves. It'd be helpful if you come back here each time you find some robot parts. Come back here each time. Alright. By the way, what is your name? Me? Professor. So... I believe you find all of the robot parts in those segment address doors. A man's dream is a giant robot. Time-worn console. It is a rather old model and does not seem to have been used for a long time. Okay, there's nothing else for us to do in here for now. But if I decide to collect the robot parts, this is where we will come. Okay, now, let's get out of here and head on back. Launch pad. Let's go. And back to the Durandal we go. Hey, you look awfully bored. Want me to take you to the dock colony or something? Uh, no. I see. It might be a good idea to just wander around for a while. Well, actually... I think I want to go to the maintenance lab. Oh, there's Alan. Oh, Chief, welcome back. Well, did you rest well? Yep, I'm fine now. Then let's get working on doing maintenance on Coast Mall, shall we? Meanwhile, on the asteroid Pleroma... Current output is 5.806 LPP. Not even 3% of the required levels. In other words, you're saying it's impossible to open the door to Lost Jerusalem. Open the door? It's doubtful whether we can even find it. I've told you repeatedly that the emulators were mere supplements. You're the one who ignored that. Because of you, we've lost a valuable asset. I've done what I can with what we have, but it's not going to make much difference. Even Mizrahi couldn't pull this off without the original. So, have you finally come to acknowledge that lunatic's work? I'm just being objective. No one in the universe is as knowledgeable in this field as he was. We can't keep our commander waiting any longer. We'll proceed with Plan 401. Plan 401? That seems a bit extreme to me. Man, not Plan 401. The 100 series that Helmer's protege is babysitting. Not only does it contain the entire record of Mizrahi's research, but the access code for the UMN transfer column to the sealed area of Old Milsha also resides in it. Treat it too roughly, and you'll lose everything. I'm well aware of the importance of Milsha and the Y data. That's why I'm using him. I do not like him. 
His eyes share the same look as Mizrahi's. And the same as yours. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting for the good news. Eladri, secure a channel to our commander. I want to report this and discuss our plans for manipulating the committee. I see. So what do you want me to do? The situation is proceeding as planned. Don't interfere with it for now. Of course. I can't imagine the second Milshan government and the Kukai Foundation will simply hand it over. If this situation warrants, we may have to use the Song of Nephilim. Now this is a surprise. I thought you hated it with a passion. I'm just saying even your toys have their uses. Then why don't you join me? We can enjoy the show together. Thanks, I'll pass. I don't share your perverse taste in hobbies. <laughs> yeah, right, you gutless bastard. Albedo. A URTV. A monster born of life recycling. There are plenty of mentally unstable life recycling variants out there just as Cherenkov was one of them. If he starts getting impatient and moves on his own... You needn't worry about that. Time means nothing to him. The only thing that interests him is that realia. Are you really going to use the Song of Nephilim? Pellegree, have you ever heard it? That song draws everything unto madness. So if you didn't notice, El Guido and Gandam both have the same voice actor. Milsha, I never thought I'd come back under these situations. Chief, is something wrong? Huh? Uh, oh no, it's uh, nothing. How's that, Cosmos? Fine. There are no problems. Please continue. And once again, it's nothing. We will soon be entering the Milshan star system. We will be entering orbit at 1400 hours local time. Second Milsha spaceport flight control, transmitting flight plan, requesting permission to dock. Hey Momo! Yes? What is it? We'll be going our separate ways once we get to second Milsha, right? Yes. I don't know if Realians believe in carrying charms or not, but... Here, take this. It's for luck. It's so pretty. What is it? It's a bullet from a long time ago. Look. It's got a good luck phrase on it. Sayonara, baby! Thank you. I'll keep it safe. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Uh -huh. ah, there we go. Try it on. You can do things like that, too? That's wonderful! It kind of tires me out a bit, though. What a strange welcome! 
Are they escorting us in this time? They're blocking the way? <sighs> this is no welcome. Meanwhile, in the Federation Karlinuk building. As you can see from this video, the Kukai Foundation has engaged in what is clearly an act of aggression against the 117th Marine Division. From the events that followed, we can only come to the conclusion that this was an act of rebellion orchestrated by the Foundation's creators, the Second Milchen Government. In light of these troubling events, we hereby enter a motion for the following. Per Article 104, an emergency suspension of the vested rights of Second Milch's autonomous government. I'd like to add that the 422nd Fleet from Gedalia has been dispatched to the scene in order to surround and contain both the Kukai Foundation and Second Milch. Hold on there. Won't that constitute an unauthorized use of force? The deployment is in accordance with the Federation Emergency Powers Act. It is fully within our powers. I would think that the Kukai Foundation possessing that level of weaponry is a far greater problem in and of itself. Perhaps they were heroes during the conflict, or whatever in the past. But the current situation is a result of letting them have their way for so long. The Zohar belonged to the entire Federation. Why should Second Milsha have sole control? The decision to turn the artifacts of Old Milsha over to an impartial third party was decided by vote 14 years ago. We're talking about the dangers of it being monopolized by a corporation! The Kukai Foundation was converted after the completion of the post-war cleanup and their own disarmament. Since taking on their current name and converting to a business, their primary source of income has become entertainment and tourism. How could they possibly have a vested interest in the Zohar? You call that disarmed? It's just enough for self-defense. Think back to the reason the organization was formed. Not only that, we can't ignore their recent achievements against the Gnosis. Can we be certain these accusations aren't merely jealousy on the part of a state that didn't receive post-war government handouts? How dare you! I've heard rumors that Milsha was secretly involved not only with the current planetary disappearance case, but also with other recent developments, including the anti-Gnosis Sohar project. I'd like to hear the contact subcommittee's thoughts on all this. Dr. Mizrahi? We moved the 100 series Realian to second Milsha in accordance with the original plan. We're following the protocols. But I wonder... Have you forgotten that it was Milsha that produced the lunatic that summoned the Gnosis and tried to destroy the Federation? I sympathize with your desire to defend your late husband, but... Perhaps you are too deeply involved in this situation. I would not have expected my presence here to be misconstrued in such a manner. Oh, really? That this is just a government of policy. You You'll just have the Federation if you continue. Jealousy on the part of the state that's all Order! Order! We've just patched in with Representative Helmer. I'd like to hear about the situation from the second Milchen government. Well, Representative Helmer? We hereby place the Kukai Foundation under arrest for the suspicion of violating Article 798, Chapter 37, Collection and Concealment of Defense Information, and Article 2153, Chapter 105, Acts of Aggression Against Federation Vessels, and hereby revoke all rights previously granted. Shut down your engines and relinquish your weapons immediately. Acts of Aggression Against Federation Vessels? Furthermore, should the Milchen government allow the Kukai Foundation to dock the Durandal, we will issue a state of emergency notice under Article 2384, Chapter 115, Part 18, Conspiracy what in the world to is Aid going Insurrection. On? It looks like they think the Durandal conspired with the Milchen government in an attack on the Federation fleet. Huh? What Federation fleet? Hey, check out the network news on the sub-monitor! You're not gonna believe this! 
On the morning of the 21st, it appears that the 177th Marine Division flagship Oglinde of the Galaxy Federation's Tessadora Division came under attack by a heavily armed ship belonging to the Kukai Foundation. The Woglinde? What? I thought the Gnosis attack had been reported already. The company has been identified as operating in conjunction with the second Milshin government, and considerations for the possibility of treason have forced the Federation Parliament to dispatch... They did a good job doctoring that video, but how did they synchronize the battle coordinates as well? Damn! That's from when we fought the UTIC organization! Those bastards were recording it! I see. That would explain how the absolute coordinates match. I guess that's their indisputable proof. Even I'm starting to think that we did it. Considering the situation, you don't sound very worried. In any event, this is confirmation that the remnants of the UTIC organization have infiltrated both the Federation government and the military. Which means... Their next target is... This is such a blatant lie, it's ludicrous! As survivors, if we testify... They'll just claim that you survived because you were in on a conspiracy. This is insane! Do you think this is why Headquarters hasn't communicated with us? Roman of the Galaxy Federation Special Ops Command Headquarters, Intelligence Bureau. I hereby place this ship under custody of the Galaxy Federation. I understand you're from the Woglinde. I'll take you in as witnesses. All Vector property will be temporarily confiscated as evidence. Cosmos! Here's the 100 Series Reallian under warrant. Hey, don't hurt her! Ugh. Detain them in a single room and watch them carefully. All of them? Splitting them up will only serve to underman our guard posts. Investigate as much of the ship as possible before we rendezvous with the others. Yes, ma'am! Gainan Kukai, you are hereby under arrest for suspicion of treason against the Galaxy Federation. Come with me. As you wish. It's all orchestrated too well. Huh? The fleet deployment came too quickly. They must have been prepared to ensure that Momo would return to them, regardless of what happened. Or perhaps ensnaring second Milsha was part of their plan from the very beginning. As a neutral territory, second Milsha was invested with a whole bunch of rights and legal privileges after the Milshan conflict. There are a whole lot of folks who still have problems with that. Even outside of the UTIC organization. The asteroid where Momo was imprisoned. I wondered where the information about that place came from. Now it seems like it was all part of the plan from the very beginning. Do you mean from when Mommy sent you to rescue me? You don't think there are UTIC members within the subcommittee itself? It's not inconceivable. Perhaps it was the very person who arranged for Momo's rescue, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi herself. No! Mommy would never do something like that! Alan! I... Uh, sorry.
Open it. Helmer? Sorry to keep you waiting, Guinan. I'm in a somewhat difficult position myself at the moment, but I'm doing what I can with the Federation Parliament. Now the woman beside you is Captain Lapis Roman. Several years ago, I sent her to infiltrate the military in order to keep tabs on the UTIC members within it. She is one of my most trusted subordinates. Always prepared, aren't you? Caution is something that comes naturally with age. Captain Roman will investigate the Durandal's records before someone modifies them. Please assist her. Understood. I'll give her the Durandal's master key. Sir. There's an EPR com from the CEO of Vector. Vector? All right, I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, I'll let you know if there are any developments. Busy as always. Not half as much as you. It's good to see you again, Representative Helmer. Likewise, Mr. Wilhelm. We haven't spoken since you resigned as Executive Committee Director. I'm well aware of the situation. Allow me to make a recommendation to the Parliament as well. Mr. Wilhelm, you're too kind. Actually, my concerns have even prompted me to dispatch the Damarung, which is currently underway to the Milshan system. Your concerns? This incident. Surely you've realized by now that... There's no question of the UTIC organization's involvement in it. Exactly. Given that, it can only mean they're after one thing. The original Zohar in stasis on Milsha, and... Udu. We can't allow that to be awakened again. I believe our firm's Cosmos and its related staff are currently in your care. I apologize, Mr. Wilhelm. I'm afraid the link between the Kukai Foundation and the Second Milshan government is... Ah, of course. Then please pass a message on to Guinan for me. Surely that would be acceptable? That much I can do. Tell him that we'll lend him Cosmos for a while, and he can use her as he sees fit. We still have time before the Zohar project commences, and in the worst-case scenario, she'll definitely be of use. We'll have the second R&D division, and the tactical sim lab provide support. Are you sure? Isn't that top secret? It's a calculated risk. From our point of view, the more real-world data we get, the better. All right. I'll convey your message to Master Guinan. Thank you. Good day, then. Udu. The preliminary inquiry shall now begin. I am an agent working for Representative Helmer of the Second Milshan Parliament. He's also with us. We can go into detail later, but for now I'll just debrief you on the current situation. You are presently under the custody of the Federation government and the military. I'll be honest with you. The way things are now, within a few hours, she'll be turned over to anti-Milshan forces. Specifically, the UTIC organization. Soon after, the second Milshan government will be stripped of all its authority. At this moment, Representative Helmer is working with the leaders of the Milshan Parliament to buy us additional time. However, our opponent's skillful manipulation requires us to find concrete proof of your innocence. But how? That's the question. We need something that would give conclusive evidence of your innocence. Conclusive evidence? What about the Woglinde's black box? We've already recovered that. Unfortunately, sometime after the final gate out, 
It was modified to be exactly the same as the video recording down to the time access. Not to mention, I shot up the database on that UTIC battleship. What about the Durandal's database? A record of the battle against the UTIC should still be there. Can't we use that to prove our innocence? Is that a standard database? Yeah. Ah. Is that a problem? Yes. Standard databases are too easily modified. I'm not certain how reliable they would be as evidence. How about Cosmos? If we had something that even the owner couldn't change, say a system with a AAA class encryption, then maybe. What? AAA? You don't find systems with that kind of protection just lying around? Or something like that? You need the Federation government's mother frame, or the UMN operating system. We... What? We have one. Oh. Cosmos. Cosmos? Yes. Cosmos database has a recording of the battle against the Gnosis on board the Woglinde. If we enter that as evidence... Yeah, but in order to copy the record, we need the keys from both the Federation government and headquarters. By diving into the Encephalon and experiencing the record ourselves, we can make a copy through the connection gear. Uh, but that's impossible without the dive equipment. How about the service module simple dive unit? You've got to be kidding. Besides, that's a violation of protocol. We don't have any other choice, do we? Oh, I am so sick and tired of protocol. But... The real question is, how do we get to Cosmos? That'll open any locked doors you come across. I'll just say that we were careless. But to make it look legitimate, you'll need to knock me out. You sure? Otherwise, no one would believe it, right? You have a point. Go easy on me, okay? Forgive me. Leave this to me. That's right, they don't have their weapons, but since Chaos just uses its gloves... He's the only one right now that can attack. Okay, we're going to see if we can head to the save point in the casino room, and that's where we're going to call it quits. And I'm not in the right spot, but here is everyone's equipment, I believe. Obtained equip item. Okay. Okay, so everyone is equipped. However... It's a quick junior with the Makarov. Increases strength as HP decreases. Uh, what do we want to give him? Yeah, 
we'll give him the snake hunter. Stylish armor, that'll raise his vitality a little. Give him the rider gloves. Platinum rod. Survival wear. And, oh, we don't have coastals with us right now. That's right. Okay, so I think what we need to do is we need to make our way to the Elsa and get to the maintenance lab where Kosnos, I believe, is currently kept. Alright, where the hell am I going? Okay, and oh, here we go. She's having a brain fart. I got no time for wusses like you. Okay, that is going to do it for this part. And in the next part, we'll go find Coast Nose and see what we can do about clearing the Durandal, the Kukai Foundations, and Junior and Guinan's good name. So until then, take care. Goodbye.